Hello everyone, welcome to the Study Hacks Institute of GIS and Remote Sensing. Today I also will discuss a very important topic, mainly how we can easily assessment the forest fire susceptibility using Google Earth Engine. I will explain all of the steps. So I hope after completing this tutorial, you are able to do forest fire susceptibility monitoring using Google Earth Engine. So basically forest fire refers to the potential for forest fires to occur, spread and cause damage. Basically a lot of factors depend for the forest fire such as temperature, humidity, wind, precipitation as well as also type of vegetation, fuel load, density of vegetation as well as also topography aspect and also human activity such as land use and fire management practice. So all of things will be this type of factor uh, depend for that forest fire susceptibility. And um, today's session I will explain all of things. I hope you can easily get this idea how it will work. So first of all factor basically first of all we talk about the digital elevation model DEM data. So basically topography is also very important for forest fire rigs or susceptibility mapping. So for the topography, basically we are using the DEM data, digital elevation model data. And then further, we try to calculate the slope. Slope mainly uh, it moves the fastest uphill and steep slope can increase the fire spread. And further also aspect, aspect is the south facing slope in the northern hemisphere, receive more sunlight and can be dry and more prone to the uh, forest fire. Okay as well as also climate data so basically temperature higher temperature can dry out vegetation and make it more uh, flammable as well as also precipitation lack of rainfall can dry out of the forest while the lighting during the storm can negate the fires as well as the dew uh, point or relative humidity as well as also uh, road basically distance to road or proximity to road so this type of factor have more influence to uh, make the forest fire rigs zone as well as also NDVI okay so fire rigs index in this time so in this time I just include this type of factor basically dam slope aspect this type of climate data and also distance to road data or if you want you can also add here the more a factor such as a land use land cover or human activity irrigation sources fire management practice as well as if you want you can also add here the historical fire data okay as well as if you want you can also use here the vegetation type data or fuel load data density of vegetation data so in this time i just use this type of factor and then try to show you that how we can easily create that forest fire susceptibility mapping using google earth engine so fire risk index so in this time we will just combine index calculate by adding the normalized slope aspect temperature and road distance and subtracting the normalized precipitation and relative humidity okay this index indicate the potential fire risks so let's go just I simply show this all of things from my code editor so here you can see this is the code editor I already write the code and we can easily find out that fire risks basically this type of color identify about that um, very low very low risks zone for fire accessibility this type of green color is the low identify about the low yellow is identify about that moderate and this type of color is identify about that high and this type of red color identify about the very high bricks for the fire susceptibility so this is the map and in this time we are also use this type of factor here you can see so first of all we try to create the fire risks index so we find out this type of index about the fire risks and further we are just make the class okay so we just make this class we can easily classify total five class very low low moderate high and very high susceptibility about this map and also you can see this is our distance to road map or proximity to road map and this is a relative humidity we created as well as a precipitation then temperature then aspect and then slope so slope then you can see the aspect then temperature then precipitation then relative humidity proximity to road then fire risk index and classification fire risk we try to classify total five classes using the google earth engine so now i describe about the code one by one so first of all we are just simply import our study area and further we are just simply create the dem data okay from the dem we calculate the slope as well as also aspect okay 
further we talk about the climate data so basically in this time we are just call about that ecm wf era5 daily data and further we simply calculate about that um, temperature precipitation and dew point and from this dew point we also calculate about the relative humidity this equation we are just used and then we try to calculate the relative humidity and then further we calculate about the distance to road map okay and then we are just calculate all of value okay for each factor and then just try to up, uh, make this type of uh, all of th uh, things okay and we also see about that you can see the value we can get is that all of area we also calculate in here for that how much for that low risk moderate so here you can see you can get that this is the class one one class mainly very low how much region you find out that also you can see about that it's that low how much area you can find out that also you can see about that um it's class three mainly moderate how much area then you can see about that high and finally very high so very high we find out that 247 okay 247 hectare area we find out that it's the high fire bricks subsidiarity okay as well as we also try to add all of those things one by one and we also try to export this type of map so just we are also export from here this is the fire risk index we just export and also export that all of class area from here so basically this is the process for that uh, we can easily make the fire risk assessment and consider all of factor not only for that if you want you can also add here the more factor such as human activity or if you want you can also add here that different types of vegetation type data okay so in this time i'll just try to show you that only for this factor and then try to and if you want you can also add the more factor for then you can also get the more better susceptibility fire risk mapping okay so you also try and further face any problem you also try to let me know and if you want you can also join my live training program on google earth engine so basically our new registration is the open for new best this class will be started from the 19 july and this session is the open and now first 10 reasons will get the 50 percent discount on this online training program so if you want to get this 50 percent discount as soon as possible booking your seat and then join our google classroom and whatsapp group so here you can see this is the uh full course syllabus you can easily get from here all of details and you can see about that all of course content so basically this is the total seven days online training program and is the total four hours mainly three hours for the live training one hours for your problem solving class so here you can get all of course content for each day and uh, i will i will already added all of those things in the video description you can easily check all of details from this website i also give you the link in the video description you can simply check it further you can easily get a lot of things and when you want to join this online training program you can get some benefits such as you can get the course e certificate after submitting all of assignment as well as you can get the all of course material mainly all of slide pdf as well as you also get all of practice code okay so it's very important when you get the practice code you can easily practice as well as you also get the recorded class suppose if you miss any live training session then you can easily cover it using the recorded class as well as you also get the lifetime teaching support so it's very important as a beginners because as a beginners when you start the learning the google earth engine platform you face a lot of problems so that's why when you join our online training program one time and after completing the 12 7 days online training program when you face any problem regarding any issue in your code or any issue about your problem regarding this online training program you can easily get that lifetime teaching support for any time okay so this is the process about that you also if you want to join with the 50 percent discount on this online training program simply contact in this whatsapp number as well as you can also contact with this email then book your seat and then join our live training session so today is no more thank you for watching that stay up stay safe